Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, The Hardest Cell. That can be found at the community notice board here in the Crow's Nest, which is right around the corner. Welcome to the Crow's Nest. Pretty sweet, right? Our latest newsletter's looking pretty good. The Hardest Cell. Client is Super Concerned Citizen. Location, the Crow's Nest Base Camp. So there's this lighthouse that's my favorite hangout spot. But now some rando calling themselves the Merc of Junon has rolled up and claimed it as their new HQ. I don't know what their deal is, but they're sure not doing jack about the fiends in the area. So I'd love it if someone could tell them to, you know, beat it or whatever. We'll take the job. All right, so that's actually the job that uh, Toby was offering. So let's go talk to him. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. Ask about the merc. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? Ask about the lighthouse. The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was, like, forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Do them a solid. Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help, or...? Me? You can sniff out trouble. I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd end up becoming best buds with Avalanche. The lighthouse isn't far. It's right on the Cape. Be careful out there. Okay, so looking at our map. The lighthouse is to the south. So, let's go. We're building a new republic. Don't know what that means, but it's happening. We're gonna reclaim these waters and... I take it you're new to the nest. <laughs> Let me guess. All right, we got some laurel and mellow oak there. And we've got one of these altars for Phoenix. Let's break it. Well, I don't know what they're called, but I'm calling them altars. Many legends about Phoenix have been passed down. One tells of the great bird scouring the coast in search of a final resting place. A fisherman, they did share the warmth of his fire. Phoenix dipped its feathers in the proffered flames, thereby rekindling its fading life force. All right, attempt to analyze the Phoenix Crystal, yes. All right, so this time it's X square, X square. Commence. Thanks 
cloud, I was able to successfully extract data on the deity. All right, our Phoenix Materia improved, and let's continue on to the lighthouse. Where's my bird? Hi, bird. So there's our lighthouse right there. Okay, and we got a little baby chocobo. Go ahead and repair this stop for him. Make him happy. And we get a golden plume. Grab this material right here and let's actually go up the hill a little bit. Okay, so defeat all nearby enemies. We need to pressure an enemy, stagger an enemy, and defeat all enemies within the time limit. The normal stuff. No, I'm cheering for you. Good. Right, there we go. We built some ATB. Let's assess. Allow me. It's a Stormwing, a rare fleet wing variant that possesses heightened flying capabilities. It soars through the air and assaults its prey with ease, maintaining its speed at any altitude. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it, and it's weak to win. Keep building some ATB with uh, Cloud here. Okay, then we'll switch to Aerith, because we're going to need her wind magic. And let's see. Let's do our wind magic at... A. Can you take Switch to Barret. Alright, so we'll do a focus shot on Stormwing A and also have Cloud do a focused thrust. Almost got that stagger, there it is. I was gonna do maximum fury, but let's wait just a second and now we'll do it. Oh, we just did some major damage there. What a tag team. Alright, let's switch Don't to Aerith. I'm actually going to have her drop down her Radiant Ward. Conjure a ward that grants invincibility while casting spells, strengthens Aerith's basic attack, and then we'll see if we can't basic attack these down. Don't think I quite managed it there. Let's hit this one with an arrow. Sorry about that. And let's help out. Have Cloud do a focus thrust. Oh, I guess I could have had him pray. Oh well. Alright, now that it's staggered. Unleash! And I was gonna finish with uh, the regular stuff, but let's just slow drink. Oh, too slow. Anyway, 
With the data from your latest bout, I created a new virtual combat trial. It will prove a real test. All right, new combat challenge, sweet. Let's continue towards the lighthouse. We can't see it at the moment, but it's this way. Oh, and I almost forgot to look at that intel. Fiend Intel 4, Weather the Storm. You obtained biological data on the Stormwing, a rare variant of the Fleetwing. Possessed of heightened flying capabilities, they maintain their speed at any altitude, allowing them to capture prey with alarming ease. Alright, so right over here we've got some buried treasure. And a chunk of mithril ore. Honestly, not the best reward, but I'll take it. Got nothing from the boxes. Okay, and we're coming up on our third game of Fort Condor. Fort Condor portal confirmed. Now then, let us risk life and limb to discover the truth of this phenomenon. Yeah! Wait, no! But what happened to the proto-relic? Ain't that what we came for? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I seem to have gotten caught up in the excitement. I swear. Come on. Let's get this over with before the boy Wonder tries to talk us into worse. Alright, so our game is right over here. Enter the world of Fort Condor, yes. Now then, if I were a proto-relic, where would I be? Over here! Your princess and your treasure await you! Make haste, my hero! Mwah! 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 Uh, does he really think we don't realize it's him? If he does, then he's farther gone than I thought. Friends, help us! The captain is in grave danger. And without him, we're doomed. All of us! What do you mean? We're nothing more than pieces in this game. Normally, we'd be stuck here, waiting on the board until someone came along to play with us. But all of that changed when the captain showed up. Ever since that day, we've been able to move around under our own power. I've never felt so alive. And it's all thanks to the captain. Without him, we're as good as dead. <laughs> So how should we handle this? I don't think we can get the proto-relic back without the captain. Yeah, we gotta help him. Okay, so this time let's use Barrett and Tifa as our hero units. And then our ally units will try safeguard, defense focused. So we got our headquarters, we got our outpost. We got an elite vanguard, a ranger, elite ranger, enforcer, elite enforcer, a cleric, and ballista I believe is new. A powerful static melee unit that strikes enemies directly in front of it with piercing blows. And we are up against a Gilga cannon tower. A fortified turret which holds the captured princess. A static unit capable of firing concussive blasts from range. Defeat this unit to win the match. We've got, they've got an outpost, a warlord, an extremely powerful unit with a large amount of HP and no role affiliation. Despite its strength, it is incredibly slow, which allows hostile units to gang up on it. They've got an Archfiend, a Wyvern, a Security Officer, an Elite Hella Trooper, a Cutter, a Grenadier, an Elite Shock Trooper, a Riot Trooper, and a Blast Ray. So let's begin. All right, let's let them make their move. They drop down a Warlord. Now we wanna be careful, if we're on their side of the field at all, that cannon's gonna be blasting our units, which does a ton of damage. So we wanna be very careful and uh, mostly play defense until we're ready to make a big charge. Let's drop our elite Vanguard there. 
And I guess we don't have a choice because I want to get him stopped at like the choke point here. So we will drop an elite enforcer and then right behind it, I'm going to put a ballista. So already that cannon shooting away. Oh, look how much damage we did to that warlord. Wonderful. All right, they're bringing in a dog. Not too worried about that. Oh, dog just took a ton of damage. Very nice. All right, let's drop in an elite ranger. And let's see. He's doing well over there. Let's drop in another elite ranger. Let's get a big push on this side. Uh, I don't like that they grouped up for the cannon to smack. That's no good. But whatever. Let's just build ATB, see how this plays out. We might actually get that outpost down, though. And we're working on both simultaneously, so that's good. Let's have uh, an elite vanguard jump on him right away. We don't want him shooting our dude. And we couldn't stop him, unfortunately. Let's see. I'm going to drop a ranger back here. We did get the outpost. Let's drop an enforcer to help. Oh, those two guys are going to be in bad shape. Actually, hold on. Maybe I can help. Let's drop Barret. Barret! Boom! Got rid of one of those Vanguard units. And actually, let's just try to get Tifa in there as soon as possible. Once we have the ATB, I'm going to drop another Elite Vanguard and then get Tifa in there. I don't like that that defense unit just spawned, but oh well, we're gonna deal with that. All right, Tifa, dive kick everybody. Boom! That'll help. Oh, we've got it now. That's a beat down. Oh, actually, he just did some massive damage. But Barrett should be able to finish it, and if not, the Ranger's gonna help. Time you guys wanna shoot? There we go. Took him down. Oh, my darling hero. Hey, hands off, Buttercup. You want to thank us so bad? Give us the proto-relic. That, I'm afraid, I cannot do. This treasure is mine, and mine alone. Never would I allow you knaves to claim it. Uh, Captain? Come, my loyal henchmen! With this, none can hope to stand against us! We shall build ourselves a sprawling empire! <laughs> hey, Captain! We'll wait for us, Captain! Where are you going? That polygonal piece of shit. Talk about a dick move. You hear what the cavalry said? This whole thing started when the captain showed up. Yeah, when they gained free will. They were pretty happy about that, weren't they? Indeed they were. I still remember the weight of the chains that bound me to Hojo's service. And the joy I felt when someone finally came along and set me free. It's no surprise he's become a symbol of hope. Even so, we can't just abandon those guys. Never mind the proto-relic. Right. Speaking of which, I've reacquired its signal. Send us the coordinates. Phenomenon Intel 3, Princess in Another Castle is complete. We got Phenomenon Intel 4, Encampment Vestiges. And that is to the north. Oh, and let's look at the intel for that. Where is it? Right here. Phenomenon Intel 3, Princess in Another Castle. Cloud and company save the captured princess from her imprisonment, only to be double-crossed. The fair maiden unmasks herself as the captain, and with a proto-relic in hand, he and his troopers escape. Alright, we are very close to the lighthouse now. Where's my bird? Let's go. And 
we've got another baby chocobo. Lead the way. Mercenary Services, Junon Branch, Kyrie. All right, we got the stop working. Let's grab these materials over here. And up we go. certainly poured their energy into the emotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. I must say, her chocobo looks amazing. I would like my chocobo to look like that. Alright, we got materials up here. Oh, unable to obtain a manifestation of the planet's blessing. So we're capped out. Let's do something about that. Not sure how long it's been like that. Hopefully not too long. Uh, so we can make some planets favor. Use some of those blessings. Uh, let's just make, I don't know, like five of them. So maybe that'll help. And I guess we could make some stuff with that planet's favor. Let's see what we can make. We can make a sailor's bracer. Grade three, a resilient bracer made to withstand life on the high seas. We'll make that. Uh, gold coral armlet. Oh, and that one has 16 defense, 16 magic defense, and three materia slots. Gold coral armlet has four materia slots with two of them linked, 12 defense and 12 magic defense. Grade three, an enchanting armlet crafted with rare coral harvested from the depths of the sea. Oh, and this one was 50 iron ore and five planets favor. This one is 40 timber, 10 condor cedar, and five planets favor. Let's make this. And then we should be able to upgrade them. Yep, enhanced sailor's bracer is 18 defense and 18 magic defense. Enhanced grade three, a souped up version of the original sailor's bracer. Takes five tourmaline and five Leah titanium. Let's do that. Then we can make an enhanced gold coral armlet. 14 defense and 14 magic defense. Enhanced grade three. A refined variant of the gold coral armlet. Is eight condor cedar, eight mellow oak, and five timber. And let's see, can we make anything else? No. Nothing else. Actually, let me check the bottom of the list here. Nope. Okay, uh, let's see where that stuff is going. Uh, I want Aerith to have the most materia slots of anybody. So let's give her the enhanced gold coral armlet. So I'll give her two more materia slots. And then what shall we give her? Hmm. Let's take the poison materia from Barrett. And, you know, I'm going to give her the enemy skill materia because I want her to have that uh, max HP and MP boost. So let's do that. That'll help. All right. And then, well, let's figure out the gear situation first. So, Barrett, let's give you maybe the Queen's Guard bangle. Because that has a lot of physical defense and some magic. Let's do that. And then Cloud, he can have the Enhanced Sailor's Bracer. That'll give him another uh, Materia slot. And then we could give maybe Red 13. Could get the Queen's Guard Bangle. It is linked Materia, though. Oh wait, Barrett has the Queen's Guard bangle. Uh, maybe we give Red Thirteen the Beastman armband. Yeah, let's do that. 
Okay, let's figure out what we're putting in these empty materia slots. Maybe Cloud could take... Uh, I don't know, what are we giving Cloud? We could give him an HP up. I don't think he currently has one. He doesn't. Let's give him an HP up. We'll steal from Red. All right, HP up from Red. And then Barret. Probably just some magic materia. Let's give him, uh... Let's give him lightning, I guess. And then Red, you could take an ice, I suppose. Unless there's something else. Yeah, I'm thinking ice. Oh, there's a Vitality Up material that we're not using. Let's give him that. Okay, that should work. So now we can pick up more of these blessings. Of course, I just get favors. Oh, what's that say? Your privacy guaranteed. All right, more favors and blessings. Same there. Greetings. Kyrie, Merc of Junon. And you are. Oh man. I'm sure I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Oh, what even is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides. Arguably, this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. <sighs> Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But, like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested. Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <clears throat> Allergies. What? Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww! Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to mama! I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry, I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. Lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a Merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. All right, fine. Let's see, let's grab the rest of the material here. Got more planets blessing. And more favors. Hello, monsters. Just building ATB so I can do a prey. Alright, let's 
do a prey, and then we'll switch to Aerith. Keep it together. Give them hell. I'll take care of them. Oh, Let's doing a Blizzara. I saw you take that hit, you know. Ah, I got Can it. Can we call you the pro? <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I might just take these down with regular shots. In fact, we could do a Radiant Ward, but let's instead do an Arcane Ward. Let's get serious. <laughs> Go for it now. Got more flan coming. Let's do a double fire. Oh, they haven't actually spawned yet. All right, now they're here. Fire! Get fire too much. Leave them in too, my loyal subordinate. Wish I could film this. All right. Uh, I guess we could do another fire. Do another fire. It's, it's a double cast for overkill, but. Alright. Ignalists are here. Okay. Here we go. Oh, first strike material improved. Alright, another. Another group of flan. Oh, you got me. Let's do fire. Are you okay? One more. Get him. I saw you take that hit, you know. Can we call you? Get too much. What up? Okay, just attacking. Oh, got a healing material improved. Very nice. Let's do regular attacks here. All right, we got the big boys here. Hey, level up. Let's do an assess. Mutated flans that have absorbed muckle polluted seawater and thus become poisonous. They swallow their prey whole, slowly weakening these unfortunate victims with their bodily fluids. Hitting them with elemental damage will pressure them, but also cause them to develop a resistance and begin absorbing that element. Once they gather enough energy, they will unleash a powerful magic attack. All right, so we want to be careful with what we hit them with. Let's have Aerith do double arrow. Right, that pressured him. We'll have Barrett do a focused shot. And Cloud, get in there. Right, they're staggered. We'll see if we can do a bunch of damage here. Let's have Aerith do a soul drain just to do some damage. Alright, we will be able to do a summon soon. Uh, let's just have Aerith uh, use her limit break. Just to heal everybody up. Don't overdo it. Why don't you deal with that? I'll show you what I can do. Oh, trying to crush me. Blocked. Uh, let's do a synergy ability. Firework blade. We'll switch to Barrett. Cloud. On it. Don't give up now, you guys. I saw you take that hit, you know. And let's summon in Phoenix. Don't let me down, y'all. Phoenix is here. Bring it home. Are you okay? Can you take over for me? Alright. Let's have Phoenix do a Crimson Ronder. Ronder, however that's pronounced. Oh, he's trying to devour me. Oh, what a hit. Well, that seemed to do a ton. Let's just do it again. Do it again! Oh! Eh, it wasn't as good that time. Aerith! Hit it with double lightning! Alright, finish off the stagger. Cloud's limit break is ready. 
I kind of want to see Phoenix do their final attack, though. Let me just hold on. Oh, I don't know. It's going to take forever. I don't know if we're going to see it or not. Maybe? Come on, Phoenix. Hurry up already. <laughs> They're probably so confused. Cloud, why are you just watching? Cloud's observing. Alright, Phoenix is about ready to use its ability. Uh, Phoenix? Back, maybe? Nobody could get past all those uglies. I'm glad you learned something. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Mer. Hey. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. Okay, later! I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. But it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh, yeah! Rhonda was telling me you do Merc work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything! Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Avalanche by day, traveling Mercs by night. I don't know how you dudes find the time to do it all. Feel like we should probably rope this place off. Don't want anyone else wandering inside and making trouble. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. Avalanche by day, traveling marks all by right, night. Well, curious. I don't know how you dudes find the time to do it all. Curious Chocobo head style, but this is pretty awesome. I gotta get some shades for my Chocobo. That's amazing. All right, and if you didn't notice, Kyrie gave us uh, Chocobo gear, which uh, probably mimics the look that her Chocobo had, which is awesome. But I do also want to get that, because that is so sweet. Anyways, let's go on our bird, and let's explore a bit. Our quest is complete, but there's more sights to see. So... Let's go this way. Ooh. And we've got an owl. Ooh. There's a life spring nearby. I don't know why the owl isn't heading over there, but I'll go there. Expedition Intel 4, Fairscape, Life Spring. Oh, now the owl's here. You're late to the party. Oh, I missed that apparently. Fair Cape, not Fair Cape. And we got Region Intel for Junon, the Fortress City. Junon, the Fortress City. Having conquered the Republic of Junon, Shinra constructed a nigh impregnable fortress on the coast and the heart of their enemy's former territory. 
powered by the world's only underwater Mako reactor and equipped with a colossal cannon capable of firing as far as Wutai. The stronghold resembles a vast battleship, risen from the deep to defend the eastern continent. Junon is a city composed of multiple levels, each of which is or each of which is lined with uniform buildings that were originally designed to serve the needs of military personnel. After the war with Wutai, some were converted into hotels and retail outlets, and the harbor and airport now see a constant stream of civilian visitors. Military exercises are still conducted frequently, however, and should the need arise, and should the need arise, defense countermeasures can be deployed at a moment's notice, transforming the city into a fortress ready to repel would-be invaders. Alrighty, let's go back this way towards this boat. More materials. Still unable to obtain those pearl ginger roots. We've been maxed out on those for a while, apparently. And let's go up here. And this is a photo spot. Junon scenic spot. So just like before, all we need to do is open up our photo mode and then close it. All right, back to our bird. So now, we're going to go to the end of this ship. There should be some materials on board. Like here. And I don't know why it's not picking it up. It's being stubborn. More over here. There and some more over here. Oh, were those boxes to break? Nope. Different types of boxes. All right, so now we can get into the water and swim over here to this shore. And we've arrived at a cache location, the ruined treasury. So it's got two treasure chests. Here's one of them. 780 gil. We got a Moogle medal out of that box. More boxes here. I think that was another Moogle medal. And another chest. Two high potions, not bad. Oh, and boxes here, a potion. Okay, that's it for this location. Let's keep going up. Oh, we've got some buried treasure right over there. Emerald? That's not a very good find. Unimpressed. Heck, I think I like the potion better from that box. But anyways, let's go up. Okay, this way. Oh, hello, enemies. Ignalus. Alright. Let me quick work of them. Let's keep going this way. Oh, sorry. Oh, more enemies. 
Looks like a Zimzalit. And some Fleet Wings. Alright, Barrett, you deal with them. Oh, our cleansing material improved. Awesome. That means we should have a Suna now. Wing beat. Beat that. All right, so you can see a tower right over there. That's our next target. And we've got technically some new enemies. We've already fought a variant of these, but we never fought the, uh, the generic. I guess. So let's go ahead and assess. Allow me. A tonadu. Migratory avian creatures that settle in fertile lands when it comes time to breed. They constantly keep an eye out for prey as they fly. Inflicting enough damage will cause them to retaliate with a violent attack, but evading this attack will pressure them. And they're weak. Oh, that from above! I evaded it! Alright, Barret. Quickly get this dude pressured. Oh wow, that pressure like lasted no time at all. That's pretty lame. Oh, oh I got one of that one. Oh, oh, I dodged early. Jeez, he knocked me back. Oh, doing a gouge. There we go. Pressured him. Let's get the stagger this time. He is gone. Alright, working on this kind of dude. Ah, it's so hard to dodge that attack. Oh, I didn't see Aerith's health so low. Uh, I was just gonna heal Cloud, but let's heal Cloud and Aerith with a prey. Ah, Alright, go ahead and pray. Deal with that. Barret can do maximum fury. And. Let's just have Aerith heal Cloud. Hang back. <laughs> God, that's such a pain. Alright, that unlocked the new combat challenge, Biological Intel Breath of Life. Let's get this tower activated. Oh, wait, almost forgot my boxes. Mogul medals. Go down. And back on our bird. So you can see another tower right over there. That's our next target. And we've got more buried treasure. Right there. This time an emerald. Once again, disappointing. That's not what I want to see. This one's guarded by two Zimzalits, much easier than the last one. Alright, do a pray. I'll switch to bear it. Yeah, 
doing wing beat. Perfect timing because I'm doing maximum fury. There's the pressure and there's the finish. Oh, and that one's pressured. Let's go ahead and drop the Radiant Ward. And we've mastered it. And some lightning materia improved. Fantastic. All right. Up we go. I'm trying at least. There we go. Okay, here's our boxes. Get our two Moogle medals. Whole bunch of stuff just got revealed with that. And I actually almost forgot, I did not look at the Fiend intel that we picked up. Let's do that now before I forget. So. Oh, wait. I was thinking I got. Never mind. Those Tanadus are such a pain in the butt, I thought they were variants because they're just like equivalent to. To the uh, mutated versions, but that's just the regulars. I was thinking ooh, ooh, we ooh. did some fiends. We did not. They're just giant pains in the butt. All right, so we've got that owl trying to lead us to a life spring. That's up this way. but he's not helping us. Anyways, the life spring's up here. Alright, a whole bunch of materials. Pick it all up. Oh, there's our owl. About time you showed up. Okay, the mountain outpost life spring is done. Cloud, your combat data has revealed the location of the mind flare lurking in the Junon region. It's said this eldritch horror devours the brains of its victims. We cannot turn a blind eye to this threat. All right, we got world intel, classified intel, the whisperer in the darkness. And that is south west of us. A mind flare. Our bird's up here, but unfortunately he can't climb down, I don't think, so. We'll climb down. And then we'll use the bird. Pick up this material and let's head down. Oh. Wow. He actually can go this way, so we'll go this way instead. Alrighty, so next stop, you may have just seen it above the cliff. There's a mog stool. Let's go say hello to the Moogles. Anyone care to meet the Moogle? 
Moogle Intel, Mariner Moogle. Into the Mog Stool, yes. Would you mind rounding up all the Mooglets for me? Bring all five Mooglets back to the Mog Stool. We're on mischief or mischief level two. Uh, let's see. Let's start with Molulu. And what we actually want to do is lead Malulu into one of those whirlwind things. And then once she's in there, we can run up and, oh, and hold L2 to grab her. And then run over to the pen. All right, Malulu is captured. All right, next we got Mosh and Molala. Let's see if we can't. Get Malala or Mosh right there. Right. Oh, yeah, jerk. They double teamed. Cheaters. All right, let's. Oh, well, they just got tired out. All right, let's get them to rush into there. Oh, perfect. It's like spawned on them. All right, now I should be able to run away before Malala recovers. You'll never get me, Malala. All right, Mosh is captured. Now Malala's in trouble. What are you gonna do, Malala? Oh, now you got whirlwinds to deal with. Gotcha! <laughs> a little late. Lure the Moogle into a whirlwind. Already did. Alright, Malala is captured. Next we have Moog. Moog's throwing bombs. Come here, Moog. Into the whirlwind. Gotcha. All right, Moog is captured and Moki. Moki's in the whirlwind and captured. Watch out for that banana. It blends in. The Emporium yeah. is up to level two. Thanks for coming to our Moogle Emporium. So what do they got? Ether, Ruby, and Emerald. Look at the cost on rubies and emeralds. Not worth it. That rarity is totally not accurate. Uh, let's see. They got Precision Defense Focus Materia Earrings. Earrings which incorporate an orb of precision defense focus materia into the design, allowing the wearer to avail themselves of its magic. Allows use of the highest level of precision defense focus materia, rendering enemies binding attacks ineffective against perfectly timed blo uh, blocks. Uh, probably won't ever use this, but I may as well buy it. You never know. And then there's Telluric Scriptures Volume 2. A collection of writings that discuss the mysteries of the planet increases Aerith's skill points. Sure, we'll grab that. And Tale of the Red Warrior, Volume 1. A chronology detailing the exploits of a former Watcher of the Veil increases Red 13 skill points. We'll take that as well. And that'll drop us down to three Moogle medals. Thanks so much. All right, and just like before, Over we can talk here. to this little Mooglet. If we want to do Moogle Mischief again, and now we can choose level one or two. But we're done here. Where's my chocobo? There it is. All right. Oh, we got a baby chocobo. Let's follow. Where you going, baby chocobo? You seem confused. 
Ah, right here. Alright, the stop is back in working order, and we get another plume. So, let's head down the hill. Oh, messed up those materials. Alright, there's another baby chocobo. We'll deal with that later. we grab that, though. Oh, we got buried treasure. Right there. Far away. There we go. We obtained five beast bones. Oh, and uh, I almost forgot. Now that Aerith has her weapon mastered. Oh, hey, look at that. She's got two weapon skills. Hey, hey. Uh, let's see. What do we want? I guess we could increase her max MP. I don't know what this MP recovery rate is. I haven't experimented with this yet. Slightly increases MP regeneration speed during battle. I don't recall ever recovering MP in battle. So maybe we'll just do max MP plus three. Anybody else have two? No, nope. Eris the only one. That's interesting. Oh, Antifa's missing a uh, materia. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, I guess we'll give her ice. Okay, so what I was going to look at with Aerith, since we mastered her weapon skill, we might want to consider going back to the Timeless Rod for its magic damage. However, it does... Oh, actually, it does have uh, four material slots. So, yeah, actually, let's go back to the Timeless Rod. Seems silly not to. Yeah, let's do that. Timeless Rod for Aerith. Oh, and it also has two... Weapon skills, so let's pick for this. We've already got fire damage up. I don't really care about that. Ward shift mastery. Altruistic recovery plus 10%. Increases HP recovery by 10% when healing party members. Oh, I like that. Pick that. And fire damage, I guess. Sure. Okay. So, anyways, let's go over here. No fiends. Rare Zemzalet variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Zemzalets are known as the sages of the skies, not only because of their intelligence, but also their remarkable feathers that make them both elegant and lethal. These feathers have been prized by all manner of craftsmen since antiquity for their beauty and resilience. Arrows fashioned from them are particularly valuable. They're said to slice through the air so quickly, they're capable of piercing even solid stone. Oh, but take care not to be so entranced by their abilities that you lose focus. Okay, so we need to defeat all nearby enemies, stagger an enemy, prevent enemies from taking flight when using Soothing Breeze, which is uh, the hardest one to do, and defeat all enemies within the time limit. So let's go in. There's two of them. We want to get this assess off quickly. I know you. <laughs> So let's do an assess, and then we're gonna be mostly on Aerith. That's your right. So, a rare Zimzalit variant that hatched near a life spring, thus granting it arcane power. It can shroud itself in wind to heal its wounds, or compress air into powerful bombs. Inflicting enough damage while it is casting Soothing Breeze will pressure it, and it's weak to ice. So basically, the best strategy I've found is just to have Aerith hit it with um, a blizzard when it tries to... Uh, when it tries to do its soothing breeze, and that will usually stop it, or pretty much Deal always stop it. I'm coming! One more shot! So, we just <laughs> want to wait for them to try it. And while we're waiting, since Aerith already has a bunch of ATB, we can just build you with um, don't overdo it. Barret, because he's the second best option. Oh, and there we go. All right, so, Aerith, Blizzard on B. Just to be extra careful. Well, actually, let's see if the blizzard works first. And if it doesn't, then we'll do um, then we'll do uh, Barrett's oh, maximum. So it's my turn. Sorry about that. Right, so that stopped it. And actually, let's just have Barrett 
Let's just have Barrett finish off that stagger. All right, so that's good. Aerith needs a little more MP. There we go. Let's have her do a blizzard. That should stop it. Someone looks kind of shaky. And it got it. Okay, and then Cloud can finish off that stagger with a focus thrust. And I think they dropped that one. I don't know if they're both still alive. That's okay, though. Um, we could have Aerith do an attack, but let's just play it safe. Um, Watch this. Yeah, never mind. Um, but Cloud can probably get a Braver in. Now's our chance. Let me teach him a lesson. Alright, so most likely they're gonna try their nonsense again. So I'm just waiting with my ATB. Alright, so oh, they're both doing it. Uh, let's be extra careful. So we'll have Barrett do maximum fury on B. And then Aerith can do Blizzard on A. Probably will just kill it. And then we'll also have her toss it over at B. Sorry about that. All right, got it. And we can finish now. Take it over. Finish it up, Cloud. All right. Okay, so let's look at the intel that we just got. Fiend Intel 2, Zimze Breaks. You obtained biological data on the Whimsalit. Oh, I actually didn't look at the name. The Whimsalit, a rare variant of the Zimzalit. Uncommonly intelligent, this avian beast is capable of manipulating air currents with its impressive wings. All right, and now we're gonna head down to that um, special fight that we unlocked. I guess we have to go this way, though. So, we're heading down to the Mind Flare. Hopefully we don't get our brains eaten. That'd be bad. Not exactly an ideal situation to get the brains eaten. I believe it's down there. Guess I can't jump down? I guess I can over here. There we go. And let's make sure the party is prepared. I think everybody's doing good on health and such, but... Well, we could use a little bit more. Use some of these potions we've got. Aerith can have a potion, and Cloud can have a potion just to play it safe. Other than that, we should be good to go. Okay, so we hold triangle to engage the enemy. Here we go. Allow me. A grotesque fiend that has taken up residence in one of Junon's inlets. It is capable of lifting even giant boulders with its preternatural psychokinetic skills. Using its tentacles, it siphons off the brains of anything that wanders into its domain. Landing synergy abilities will pressure it. Well, that's good to know. Oh. Right, let's 
pray. We're gonna go to Barret. Oh, sinister seizure! Get out of there! All right, let's do a maximum fury. Here goes. Get ready. Get him! Cut! I guess we'll just do a soul drain just to put some pressure on him. I got Alright, he seems really pissed off at Barrett at the moment, so that's leaving me free to just unleash. Let's get one more. Oh, a cursed orb. Aimed it. Wow, that did a decent amount of damage. Let's do another maximum fury. So it's my turn? Get my familiar out. Oh, telekinesis. Did a decent amount of damage. Um, we can get a pressure on it, but we might finish it off the stagger anyway. By the way, we're gonna play it safe and do a cure over in Cloud's direction. You can do it. Taking over. Okay. Oh, he oh, got away from it. Oh, psychotic break. Doesn't sound good. Oh, we should probably interrupt that. Oh! Anyone, we need help. Oh boy! That was nasty. Uh, I should have interrupted that. Uh, well, in that case, let's see. We're gonna wanna use an item for sure. Let's use an item and then we'll do a synergy ability. So we gotta get Aerith back up. Gotta be careful. Get up, Aerith. Be careful. All right, synergy ability. Oh, backline commands. When your current party members are in dire straits, you can call or you can call upon your other comrades to execute a synergy ability once per battle. Oh, I actually didn't know about this. Open the commands menu with X and press backline command to uh, select an ability. Interesting. Uh, I think, well, actually maybe we'll try this. Let's do a backline command. We'll do a relentless rush on this mind player. See how that goes. Then we'll switch to Barret. Right, so this is gonna pressure him and stagger. Alright, we'll do a maximum fury and then we're just gonna build with Aerith. Actually, let's build with Cloud. I wanna have him do a prey. Right, prey, Aerith. Alright, Aerith can do another heal. Uh, I guess I'm Barret. Alright, it's on you, Barret. Don't overdo it. Yes, it's my turn. Stay, strong, okay? Stay away from me. I don't trust you. Oh, Ashrop or Henson, get out of there. Oof, Aerith's taking big damage. Uh, well, we can do a summon. Let's summon Phoenix in here. That's a good one to call. This right here is the power of the planet. I'm Build ATB, Aerith. You need to heal yourself. One more shot. Oh, astral apprehension. All right, we're not letting him get it off this time. Let's do a firework blade on it. And we'll also have Barret do his limit break. Fire in the hole, Barret. On it. All right, we managed to stop it that time. We managed to stop it, and then Aerith can heal herself. Let's just do it, Kira. I don't like how low she is. Barret, do a focus shot. All right, I wasn't gonna finish off the stagger. Now, well, actually, I oh no, I didn't I assess. Oh god, I meant to do a prey. Well, I guess now we could try to finish off the stagger. I wasn't planning to do this, but no, nope, didn't work. I screwed that one up. Royally. Alright, well I guess we'll just 
pray. Take the lead. Finish off that stagger. Got it. Finish him. Maximum fury. So overall, Mind Flayer, very easy. Just save your synergy attacks for that big blast, which I did not do. So don't do what I did. Don't get absolutely destroyed by that blast. It's a good thing we uh, had Cloud and Barret survive. Okay, so let's go ahead and travel back to the Crow's Nest. And we've got some combat challenges with uh, Chadley. So, let's see, where am I? I'm turned around. I'm at the original place I came in. All those willing to fight against Shinra's tyranny are both... Violence isn't the answer. I think I can get to Chadley this way. Or maybe not, actually. Well, let's see. Can I get to Chadley over here? Uh, yeah, I can, actually. I have news regarding the combat simulator. Thanks to the monster data you managed to collect, I was able to devise a new challenge for you. I kindly invite you to give it a try. All right, before we do that, let's develop some materia. We'll get, uh, yeah, we'll get the ATB stagger materia. Increases ATB when staggering an enemy. We get a small ATB boost on that stagger. Let's grab that. Okay, and then combat simulator. All right, so we have Junon Battle Intel, Conqueror of the Skies. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team. Engage in simulated combat to procure more biological data about the fiend who rules the proverbial roost. And this will give elemental materia. We'll go with the normal team, Cloud, Barret, and Aerith. All right, we got an annoying Tanadu and some Fleet Wings. I really hate these Tanadus. Managed to pressure that one, though. The pressure just does not last. That's what's so annoying. You dodge their stupid attack, and then they still... Like, you still can't stagger them sometimes. Here it comes. Almost got the stagger. Let's finish this. Ooh, MP up materia improved. All right, what is this? A zoo? Have we fought a zoo? I don't know if we have. Let's assess. Actually, let's see. Oh, I have. Why don't I remember fighting a zoo? Well, apparently I did. I somehow don't remember it. Oh, either way. Let's go ahead and focus thrust. We do one more, potentially. And we'll just finish it off like that. Let's do this. I might be able to get it before it recovers from the stagger. Gonna be close. We got it. Moving on then. All 
Oh, we got a big one. All variants here. Storm wings and a fauna dude. Alright, so I think the best way to do this will be to have Aerith hit one of these storm wings with arrow. Arrow on that storm wing. Oh, Barrett ready to go. All right, Barrett, finish off that pressure. And cloud jump him. Now get off of me. All right, we should be able to finish this one. Got it. Right, back to Aerith. Actually, we don't even need to control her. She's got the ATB. Hit the storm wing with the arrow. Why Aerith or Ferris not attacking? But he's not. And for some reason, Aerith didn't do her spell. Why not? Uh, you know what? I was gonna do Focus Shot, but let's just do Maximum Fury to finish it. Yep, that'll work. Getting a little stubborn, getting that last little bit of health down. Got it. Alright. My knees are Oh, jeez. Uh, Aerith, let's get a heal over to Cloud ASAP. Kira for Cloud. Oh, I tried to dodge it, failed. Oh, my limit break's ready. Limit break! Yeah, it was kind of underwhelming. And as usual, it hits me. I hate these birds. Let's do a synergy ability. Firework blade. And the fauna do is dead. That wasn't so bad. All right, that took two minutes and 31 seconds. We got our elemental material. Next up, we have biological intel, breath of life. A three-person battle in which you pick your team. Engage a deadly fiend in simulated combat to gain not only a clear picture of their behavioral patterns, but also a skill unique to this species. Claim victory to acquire an enemy skill. Items cannot be used. Enemy skill is Soothing Breeze. Interesting. Uh, yep, we are ready to go. And you know what? Let's bring Red 13. We'll do Cloud, Aerith, and Red 13. I want to finish off his uh, weapon mastery. If I can. Alright, so let's get rid of the or get rid of the arch dragons first if we can. all over the place. Bowman, no thank you. Alright, Red, let's have you do something. I don't know what yet. Oh, he's got arrow. Alright, do that. Oh, jeez, nice hit. Alright, we got that stagger complete. And we'll just have Cloud Prey. Let's control red. Alright, let's see. I wasn't gonna do this, but we'll do vengeance mode. And then crescent claw on the arch dragon. Well, oh! 
Did not master my skill. Oh, nasty. Alright, Aerith. Uh, you know what? Let's have her drop. Oh, geez, we can already do a summon? Let's have her drop an arcane ward. Ah. Alright, and then I want to have her double cast in arrow. It's your turn. One more. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything at all. Alright, let's see. It is we oh it's weak to ice. I can't remember what uh Red 13 has for summon, but I think it's E3, yeah. Uh, well, I guess of all of ours, Cloud has the most appropriate summon with Titan. Actually, what does Aerith have? I don't know. It's Deal insufficient with ATB. Aerith, so <laughs> 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 we need you with some ATB so I can see what summon you have. One more shot. She has Rama. Dang it. Uh, all right, Cloud, you are going to summon. Titan, get in here. Get him. Alright, and then Aerith is gonna double cast the blizzard. Uh, why not? What's she doing? I have no idea if she casted it. Kinda looked like she didn't. Sparks in there. I don't like the sound of that. Alright, do a pray. Right, almost got the stagger. Oh, nasty. Almost got the stagger. Cloud could do a limit break, but before we do, maybe we do a firework blade so his limit break is higher. Don't stop now. And then we'll have Red do sidewinders. Now Cloud can do his limit break, Ascension Two. It's all the Gotta keep it my own. Ah, it's a little slow. Summon ability, Mountain Crusher. I've almost got him. And there we go. Oh, and I uh, totally forgot. I just do it by, uh, you know, by habit. Uh, but actually, part of the challenge is to stagger every enemy. So luckily, we did that. It's just kind of what you should do anyway. But yeah, I totally forgot about that. Luckily, we didn't waste our time. So that took two minutes and 40 seconds. We got the enemy skill, Soothing Breeze. I gather from your expression that you're eager for more. All right. By the way, Cloud, have you made any progress lately in the hunt for that proto-relic I mentioned before? If not, don't worry. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to attend to. Anyway, just checking in. Alrighty, so we did get some new materia. Let's get that situated and then that'll be good for now. Um, so we do have some elemental materia. Uh, oh, Barrett's got level two healing materia. I kind of forgot about that, to be honest. And he's got that chakra. HP up and lightning. Hmm. Debating what to use. And Provoke's actually almost maxed out. All right, so anyways, we got ATP Stagger. We definitely want that on Cloud. Uh, he's currently got an HP up. We can actually drop that. I want him with ATB Stagger. Let's give him that. And then... Aerith does not have an HP up. 
we could give her. I do like pretty much everything she has, though. I guess we could drop the poison on her. She doesn't need that. Let's give her the HP up. She could use more health. So let's see. This one right here. Yeah, that'll help her a lot. And... Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll give Barret the elemental. I don't think he needs the HP up, to be honest. Or potentially the healing. Uh, but yeah, let's... Let's give him the elemental, potentially. Let's take a look at it. So, adds the element of the linked materia to your equipment, either infusing your attacks with that element or granting resistance to it. When more than one is set, only the materia in the leftmost slot takes effect. So, compatible materia is fire, ice, lightning, wind, fire and ice, and lightning and wind. Weapon adds 8% linked elemental damage dealt, or armor halves linked elemental damage taken. So, we just want to level this. I don't particularly need it for anything so we can pair it with LM or with the uh, lightning for now and then that means we want to give HP up to somebody maybe we'll give it to Tifa instead of ice oh, actually hold on she already has HP up um, in that case maybe we'll give it to red 13 instead of wind There we go. Okay, that should be good. I think we're all set. So, with that, we're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.